All right, guys, in today's lesson, we're going over purple shampoo and purple masks. These have the potential to make your blonde look absolutely amazing, but they also have the potential to turn your hair really weird colors. That's why it's really important to make sure you're using them right, but using them right is different for everyone. So I'm gonna tell you how to create a custom routine that's perfect for your hair and won't turn it any weird colors. For a long time in my salon, we used purple shampoo, but the thing about purple shampoo is that it dries your hair out and that's not what we're going for. So when one of my stylists, Alyssa, showed me this purple mask, I was immediately excited because it does everything purple shampoo does without drying your hair out. This whole mask versus shampoo thing might sound weird at first because shampoos do one thing and masks do another, but the dirty little secret here is that purple shampoo isn't shampoo. It's really a toner and it doesn't get your hair very clean at all. And that's a bad thing because you want your hair to be nice and clean so the hair shaft can properly absorb the purple. So purple shampoo is really just a mess. It doesn't clean your hair, it dries your hair out. That's why we completely switched to using a purple mask instead. So enough background, let me show you the simple three-step process we use in my salon to get better results with a purple mask than you ever would with a purple shampoo. The first thing you're gonna do is use a regular non-purple shampoo to clean your hair shaft. That way it's ready to properly absorb the purple. Next, after your hair is clean, you're gonna start using the purple mask. But don't use this like a purple mask where you only put it on your mids and ends. Use this anywhere you have blonde, even if it's up by your roots. Now before we go on, there's two things we need to figure out for your custom routine. The first is how often you're gonna use the purple mask. And the second thing is how long you're gonna leave that purple mask on your hair. So here's how you're gonna figure that out. You're gonna start small. The first time you use the purple mask, only leave it on your hair for five minutes. If that didn't tone your hair enough, next time you do it, you can increase it to six minutes and then seven minutes and slowly work your way up until you get exactly where you want. I'd also suggest that when you're first starting out, I'd only use it once a week to make sure your hair doesn't turn any weird, dark, purple or blue colors. If once a week isn't enough for you, you can always do it more frequently, but I'd recommend you do small changes, not big ones. The third and final step is just using your normal conditioner as you normally would. So it's almost like a sandwich. You start with your regular shampoo and the middle is a purple mask, and then on the bottom, your normal conditioner. We've been experimenting with this in my salon for quite a while, and it's given us better results than anything else we've tried. So your homework for the day is this. As soon as you run out of purple shampoo, go out and buy a purple mask instead. If you're wondering which purple mask we use here, it's the Red Ken Color Extend Blondage. You can get it on my salon's website, which is in the description. That's the bell. Class is dismissed. If you have any questions, go in the comments, and I'll make sure to get back to you.